Meet the brothers Conradi. They're the Sunshine Tour's answer to Brooks and Chase Kepka, and they've been racking up tournament wins for fun. In part, because of the way they're looking after themselves. It's a lot of fun working with the, the younger generation. I think a lot of them have embraced fitness and the role that you know, being physically fit and really looking after your physicality um, plays in their ability to perform on the golf course. They're certainly about being athletes, not just golfers in this day and age. And it's quite nice to work with young, fresh guys. It kind of makes me feel a bit younger too, which is always a, which is always a help. Garth heads up the teaching and wellness sections of the Wanna Be A Champion Academy together with Doug Wood. Ruan and Estian Conradi are two standout students. At the moment I'm um, doing a lot of core work and uh, with that I'm um, putting a lot of speed to the core work. Um, I know a, a year ago I still was working on a lot of strength but now it's more core work and getting the speed into the swing. Trying to get uh, same as Ryan, trying to get uh, some speed into the exercises because the strength is uh, already there. Just trying to get it more speeding up, trying to work it into the swing a bit more so we can uh, move onto the course, try and work everything into the swing easily and it uh, feels like it's, uh, it's getting there. The brothers are truly getting there. Sunshine Tour rookies building up for big careers. With Estian and Ron, they're young athletes and they are, you could see they enjoy their, their training and I'm always trying to, you know, always say feed what you need. So we do a lot of strength work with them, obviously, because that's what they do enjoy. It's something that is a big asset to them in their golf. That's a lot of the, one of the aspects that their golf swings are built around, is remaining strong. My goal is to try and get them to move a little bit better. So it's just re-enhancing better movement patterns into their, their body whilst doing it under a loaded environment. And today we used the K-Motion system to try and enhance that process so they could get better sort of feedback and biofeedback as to how their bodies are moving. So it can be more efficient, more effective when they're actually training in a golf specific environment while still building their overall athleticism. It obviously helps to uh, create more control over your swing, get you more powerful through the swing and it also gives you a lot of uh, stamina to repeat the swing. Exercises we're doing, a lot of it um, we're doing in positions that we'd be on in the course, like our posture, we use the same posture as we would use when we're making a swing. Strengthening your muscles and stuff in that posture you're going to use on the course really helps to uh, help you keep that posture on course for well, 18 holes or how many heavy holes you're playing that day. Estian and Ruan filled the top two places on the IGT Challenge Tour money list last season. The younger brother, Estian, is the first to make an impact on the Sunshine Tour at Sun City. I had a lot of positives coming from that top 10. I was feeling good going into the week, always liked that course. I had a good opening round. Usually I struggle in the opening round, so I mean, that's already a positive right there. I mean, finishing strong that last round, playing with uh, Anton. Both of us had a, had a decent round in uh, tough conditions. So, I mean, just want to keep building on that performance, continue from there. Both Estian and Ruan are multiple winners, but they're keen to manage expectations. For this season, I want to keep my card because I love this game. I really would like uh, getting my first top 10. I know my brother's done it first now. But yeah, I, I would really love having a top 10 and if everything goes well, uh, I'd like to see myself getting in contention more often. Modest considering the eight wins to his name at the IGT level, Estia has seven victories. I want to get uh, a few more top 10s and I mean, I just want to keep myself uh, in contention and uh, I mean, a realistic goal for me would probably be top 50 order of merit. I don't think that's impossible to get. And then maybe uh, even a win. I mean, you always, you always play to win, so I'd like to try and win a tournament this year. You wouldn't be surprised if either brother quickly got the W against their name. And both would swiftly point out the teamwork that's involved.
most satisfying aspect for me about working in what I do is, is obviously seeing our students reach you know, their goals and their, or their true potential really. Whether that is to win you know, their club champs or to compete in a major championship or hopefully win a major. That's part of what we are about. We're about creating champions and champions in all realms. Uh, it doesn't have to necessarily be in a golfing environment, but obviously driving those players to reach their true potential and, and maybe unearth a potential that they maybe never thought that they, that they had. That's where the reward really comes in and, and seeing those guys be able to perform and, and play the way that we know they can and hopefully they do too. Uh, that, that's always very, very rewarding. A rewarding time ahead, surely, for the brothers Conradi.